Hi, and welcome to Milk Crate Kids Online. My name's Alyssa, and I just wanted to say it's so good to have you guys here. We have a lot in store for you, so stick around.
picture these words as a Snapchat. Boomerang with the praise in the right back. Man, we hide in the sky, no turn back. If it be our last night, leave it all here. No fear, be clear, this is your year. Let go of anything that isn't God's steer. By Zine with the dream, man, it's so clear. Yeah, so clear. And you know, wherever you go, I'ma stick close. They gon' think we a duo. Bond so tight, hug it out like a sumo. And I never think twice, you the boss of my life. No, you go. And this world not down with us. They can try to limit faith, but it's down to us. Man, love so deep, not again to us. When the blessing comes down, man, the praise go up. Yeah. Welcome. This week, we're going to be talking about a subject that usually we're talking about the week before Easter. It's also known as Palm Sunday. However, we are going to be taking the next several weeks leading up to Easter to, to explore what happened the week before Jesus actually died on the cross and rose. So the first Sunday is Palm Sunday. And we're going to watch the video and then come on back and we're gonna talk a little bit more about the significance of this event and what makes it so special. Stories of the Bible, the triumphal entry. This is Jesus. hey Who is the son of God and the savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms 
worshipped and even raised people from the dead. Uh, wahoo! At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses, when God brought his people out of Egypt. So Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate. Jesus and his disciples stopped in the town. You coming? And Jesus told two of his disciples to go on ahead of them. Eh, okay. He told them to go into a village and that they would see a young donkey that no one had ever ridden. Rock! He told them to untie it and bring it to him. If anyone asks, what are you doing? He told them to just say, the Lord needs it and will return it soon. Yeah, okay, go ahead. So the disciples did what Jesus said and brought him the donkey. A long time ago, before Jesus was even born, God had said that the Savior, the King of Israel, would come to Israel in this way. And now Jesus was doing just as God had said. The news that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem swept through the city. Many heard about all the amazing things he had done, so they cut palm branches and ran to see him. Huh? The Pharisees and religious rulers realized that there was nothing they could do, for everyone was going to see Jesus. Jesus rode into the city of Jerusalem and the crowd spread their coats on the road ahead of him. His followers began to shout and sing as they walked along, praising God for all the wonderful miracles they had seen. The Pharisees were upset. Hey, Jesus! And they told Jesus to stop the people from saying things like that. But Jesus said, if they keep quiet, the stones along the road would burst into cheers. So the people kept on singing, blessings on the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise God in highest heaven. The entire city of Jerusalem was in an uproar as he entered, asking, who is this? And the crowds replied, it's Jesus. And Jesus rode the donkey through the street of Jerusalem to the temple in a triumphal entry just as God said he would many years before. Welcome back. Wasn't that great to watch? It's pretty amazing when you take a look at what actually transpired on that Sunday. Um, if you go back into the Old Testament, and we just remember we just learned all about the Old and the New Testament. Well, in the Old Testament, there were prophecies that talked about exactly what was going to happen when the Savior came, that he would ride on a donkey's colt, that the people would be shouting Hosanna and have their palms out. And that's exactly what happened. It's pretty amazing that Jesus, on that Sunday, it was the beginning of what would culminate in his proving that he was exactly who he said he was, dying on the cross and raising again. So as you think about that special Sunday, Palm Sunday, let's remember not only what was said before, but also that he also says he's coming back. Well, welcome to Craft Corner. Today, we have been learning about, well, we've been talking about Palm Sunday, even though it's not really the true Palm Sunday, mm -hmm. but we really wanna do a deeper in-depth look into all the things that transpired the week before Jesus um, died and rose yeah. again. And so um, to celebrate, we have this really fun craft. Mm -hmm. This is a downloadable that you can print right off your computer. Uh, under online resources for kids. And um, the idea behind this is that you could actually reenact what happened on Palm Sunday. That's right. They said that the crowds were there and that here Jesus was coming, walking on a donkey. Well, look at that. Oh. We've got a clothespin donkey craft. So once you cut out your little Jesus, how cute. Yeah. Then these little, um, these clothespins become the donkey's legs. Like that. Oh, you put them on a tight. Mine, yeah. I got a long-legged donkey. Oh, you got a long-legged donkey. <laughs> My little donkey is a little more sturdy. Yeah. And then you can actually take these cute little clothes that we created, and you can color them anything, any kind that you'd like. This guy may, might have polka dots. I haven't seen a lot of polka dot pattern. 
back in the, you know. No, no lots of straight. straight Jesus. Like lots of straights. But was there, or is that just our interpretation? Of it? Right. You know, exactly. exactly. I mean, you know, maybe the king had some polka dots. But what's cool is that mm -hmm. it tells us as Jesus rode into Jerusalem, people were taking palm leaves and throwing them down in front of it. They were taking off their cloaks and throwing them on the yes. ground so that the donkey actually wasn't touching the ground. It was touching the palms and, and the people's clothing. And the people's clothing is as a way to honor him, which yes. is pretty awesome. So you can actually reenact this. You can be like, Hosanna, Hosanna, and like throw down. Yeah. Do a little throw down here. That would be really, that's really fun. And then so those go kind of like right in front, and then you can take your little donkey and just be like, it's just There he is. Just going, whoops. <laughs> I love like, this. I love this. Just like that. <laughs> it's just such a fun craft. It's so fun. It is. It is. So, it actually works best if you print it off on cardstock, mm -hmm. but it works just as well with paper as that's well. That's right, that's what this is. It we just kind of work with whatever you got. That's right. And have fun exactly. reenacting the triumphal entry. And we'd love to see it. We would. Yeah. Awesome, see you guys next time. Bye.